queen card by g idol should not be taken seriously specifically on stan twitter and tiktok people are taking this way too seriously and completely disregarding the actual point of the comeback and why the lyrics are as goofy as they are I want this video essay to be relatively quick and short, and it's also not scripted, so that's why I may sound a little different, but I wanted to get my thoughts out there, so if this video is a little simple, that's why. So g just came back with their comeback, I Feel, with their lead single, Queen Card. They also had a pre-release with Allergy. Also, I know the aim is Idol. I just say G-Idol to not get it confused with the actual word Idol, so I'm just gonna say G-Idol. I know it's supposed to be pronounced Idol. G Idol's last two comebacks were really, really big for them. Smash hits, the, the pop punk sound with Tomboy was refreshing, and Nude was a cultural reset. So for a lot of people, there were very high expectations, and for a lot of people, those expectations were not met. This is very fun and lighthearted compared to their last two tracks, not even saying that Nude and Tomboy were some like dark, menacing tracks, but they had a more serious tone to them than this, even Tomboy. But the real talking point is not really the actual musical side of the song, it's the lyricism, mainly written by Soyeon. Now Soyeon is someone who's been butchered in the past for her lyricism, especially that all English rap on Tomboy. She was ripped to shreds online for that. However, a lot of people did not differentiate criticism from hate when it came to that rap verse, and a lot of people just hated on her to hate on her instead of actually critiquing the fact that the rap verse was just poorly written. And this time around, a lot of people are once again battering her for these English lyrics they use in the song. There are some really weird verses, some really weird lyrical choices here, very goofy and kind of cringe to some people, but that's kind of the point. This song specifically is a very good example of when not to overanalyze a K-pop song and actually take it at face value. There's a lot of second generation and early third generation music that has a very non-serious attitude and tone to it. I mean, Big Bang literally has a song called Fantastic Baby. Have you seen that music video? Do I even have to talk about Orange Caramel's music? However, late in the third generation and fourth generation, I think that K-pop has taken a more serious tone because it has been promoted to the West more, and the West doesn't really like a ton of quirky concepts. I know in the United States, a concept like... Catalina by Orange Caramel probably wouldn't be received as well as like a concept like Anti Fragile by La Seraphim or Tomboy by G Idol. K pop has been missing unserious, lighthearted music. A song like Super Yuppers by W. Jason Chocom, I love that song. It's one of my favorite K pop songs of all time because of how unserious it is. It's literally satirical in nature, and that's what makes it so good. But recently, I've seen people become overly analytical about non serious K pop songs, and that includes myself as well. Yes, I'm someone who will admit when I overanalyze something, and I did that a lot for Teddy Bear with Stacy. A lot of people remember that I was critical on that song because I thought that. While I understood it was just trying to be a fun song, I just didn't really like how it sounded. I thought it sounded too goofy. But even with that being said, I think that I was kind of just finding things to hate on the song rather than actually just realizing that it was a fun song to be fun. Stacy received a lot of the same criticism. I feel like this song is also receiving because of how goofy it is. Now, obviously, they're receiving slightly different criticism. Teddy Bear was more focused on the way the song's production was and how over cutesy it was. This is being criticized for more about how cringy the lyrics can be, but I think the wave of hate I've seen both songs get is the same. It's the exact same thing for Zero by New Jeans, right? That is literally a song that is a brand sponsorship thing. That is a song made for Coca-Cola. It's about Coca-Cola, and people were trying to overanalyze the song and take it seriously that's not the fucking point. And I'll admit on multiple occasions on this channel, I have maybe overanalyzed music like my 30 minute video about Blackpink solos. Like I'll admit, there's probably some stuff in there that can be seen as me being too overly analytical. But again, I'm not saying you should take my opinion with any sort of credibility or really should base your musical foundation on my opinions. Also, all the stuff I say in that video is mainly just criticism. It's not hate in any way. I don't really hate any of the members of that group or any of those songs. I just have critiques for them. But I'll fully admit that I was being a little over analytical about Teddy Bear, and it made me realize that there are people who are being really over analytical about Queen Card, a song similar that doesn't need to be taken seriously. I mean, Soyeon herself, in a comeback interview, said that this song in particular was supposed to be seen as a comedy movie. It, it wasn't meant to be taken seriously. It's supposed to be funny while also delivering somewhat of a message, and I think it does that. 
And I've seen some people on TikTok and Twitter say that, oh, you know, the people who like this song are using that as an excuse to cope with it being a bad song and they're kind of just like forcing themselves to like it. And I think that's a very childish take. I think I saw people saying that for Zero as well by New Jeans. People saying like, oh, you're forcing yourself to like it. That's not true. People can enjoy music without having to forcing themselves to like it. Just because you don't like it and other people don't like it doesn't mean that no one likes it. This is a very narrow mindset that a lot of K-pop stands have. It's funny because these same K-pop stands preach for inclusion and open-mindedness, but have this incredibly narrow mindset when heading into a comeback. I'm personally someone who thinks that this is a decent song. Now, I honestly think it's in like the bottom fourth of G Idol's title track discography. Out of all their title tracks, this is definitely nowhere above the bottom five, but that doesn't mean it's a bad song. G Idol has an incredibly solid title track discography. Like their title tracks bang. And there are things about this song I genuinely like. I think it takes that garage rock aesthetic that was part of Allergy and switches it up enough to make it feel similar to the pre-release, but also different in its own way. And I honestly think a genuine reason as to why some companies don't make that much fun K-pop music anymore, like really a light-hearted fun pop music, is that people just have been so negative about comebacks like Teddy Bear and like Queen Card. And like that includes myself. I was pretty negative about Teddy Bear when it came out. It's still not one of my favorite title tracks from them, but that's because Stacey has really great title tracks to begin with. Like Super Yuppers is literally my favorite WJSN oriented song of all time. Like between all the subunits and the main WJSN core, it is literally my favorite WJSN song of all time. I think this also applies to BTS as well, right? They made like PTD, Butter, Dynamite. A lot of people like that music and a lot of people don't like that music. They say it's too vanilla, it's too basic, it's appealing to the West. And like, sure, you're right, but people like the ice cream flavor vanilla. Like you're comparing it to vanilla, people like that. I've eaten vanilla by itself plenty of times. Like people like basic music sometimes. It's fine to like basic music. Truthfully, there are two sides to me as a content creator. There's the side to me that makes really long analytical video essays like my Espo video or my Blackpink video or even my stage presence video to an extent, right? These longer essay style videos that are supposed to be very serious. But there's also another side to me that just listens to music to have fun and doesn't take it too seriously, right? And at times, I tend to struggle at finding kind of a balance between those uh, two versions of my music critiquing self. But I think there are scenarios like a teddy bear where really you just have to sit back and say, hey, this is a fun pop song, it's harmless. And yes, does this song have a slightly deeper meaning to it? Sure, but this is still supposed to be a harmless, funny song, and it comes off as a little funny. That doesn't mean the song is exempt from criticism. You don't have to like the song. I'm not sitting here saying you have to like the song, like, oh, you just don't get it. Like, no, you can understand this and not like the song. It's perfectly okay not to like the song. But I want there to be more critiques about the music rather than just blind hate for the music and for the people that like the music, right? Just be aware that yes, this is a comeback that is supposed to be taken lightheartedly. Like I think the message is supposed to be taken seriously, but I think a lot of these like English lyrics and stuff aren't. Like Soyeon said it herself, it's supposed to be like a comedy movie. And after I learned about that and watched the music video and listened to the song, it actually makes the song better because I realize what the song is trying to tell me. I think a lot of people who are critiquing these songs and calling the lyrics cringe and stuff, they are essentially critiquing the movie without understanding what's going on in the plot. Like imagine if someone sat down and tried to critique Star Wars A New Hope without understanding what's going on in the movie, right? Like, I'm not going to take that person's opinion very seriously because they don't understand what the real message is behind the art. I'm not saying those people can't have opinions about that art, I'm just not going to take it seriously. And for a lot of people who are saying the lyrics are cringe and Soyeon's a bad writer because of this English and stuff, I'm not taking your opinion seriously, I'm sorry, I'm just not. And I also don't love this song, like, I'm not saying this is like a 9 out of 10. There's just a lot of people complaining and being blissfully ignorant on the internet about what this song is about and the lyrics about this song, and I'm here to just say, people, don't take it seriously. I'm probably going to get people in the comment section saying, oh, those are just people coping. Just cope. Those people can cope with their ignorance. It's whatever. Go back to enjoying music and having fun with it. Don't take everything seriously. That's me included. Okay. Hopefully you have a good day. I'll see you guys in my next video.